Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz Sheikh and in today's video, we are going to learn how to create the Visio charts in Excel using for Mac and Windows. So let's get started. So once you launch Excel, you have to go to the insert ribbon and go to get add-in. The same way you can find it for Windows as well. So get add-ins, this will launch the add-in store for Microsoft and over there you can see the Microsoft Visio data visualizer in preview. You can just click on add and click on continue. This is the process. You just need to do it once and it will ask you to sign in. So click on continue without sign in. And as you can see over here, we are having some charts like we have the basic chart, cross functional chart, organization chart. So you can use any of these charts and let me just move this little bit away. Yes, so we have some space and we will look the organization start and we'll just look the quick start one. So as you can see, it is automatically creating the table and it is mapping that structure of that hierarchy and it is uh, displaying it over here. So let's say that we have the name of the director is my name for a shake and we have uh, some Sarah Khan and we have Paul. Okay. And let's say we have another manager for logistics, Zaid Khan, and he's a manager for logistics. And he's reporting to the director. So we have to add the ID for the director, ID one, and he will be the manager. And when we hit refresh, you can see the organization chart is getting updated. That's pretty awesome. So you can see you have Sarah marketing and let's say we have another staff ID number five and that will be Zen Sheikh and he will be a sales rep who will be reporting to the marketing. So you need to add the ID for the marketing manager. So ID two and that will be just a staff. So refresh and you get your organization chart updated. Let me add one more ID six. And in this case, we will be adding Nita Singh and she's also the sales rep, and she reports to again ID two and she's also a staff. And when we hit refresh, Super. Uh, so what is an error getting over here? So you can see that I have accidentally wrote ID number five again. So this ID should be unique. It can't be duplicated. And now when I will hit refresh, this should work fine. Perfect. Now if I change, this is very nice. You have different positions over here. Like if you put an assistant and when you refresh, perfect, you get a different color for the assistant. And if you have consultant, then you get a different color for the consultant. This is pretty nice. And for the vacancy, it is grayed out. So that's pretty nice. So let's put it back to staff and refresh. And once you click the edit, you can edit this diagram into the Visio application. Now, just to make a note, my friends, Visio is application is currently available only for Windows version. So right now it's not available for the Mac. But if you click edit, it will take you to the web version of Visio and where you can do the edits, change the colors and you can manage your chart as you like it. But you must have a subscription plan and I'll be sharing the link in the below video description so you can go and check out that in detail. So let us go and create another chart. We'll go to insert. And this time I'm not going to click on get add-ins. In fact, I'm going to go and click on my add-ins. And you can see the recently used add-in is my Microsoft Visio. And if I click on see all, you can see all the add-ins which are linked to my email. So I'm just going to select Visio and add. And we can just click on continue without sign in. And this will give you all that chart options again. We are just going to look the basic flow chart and we are going to prepare a flow chart for the invoice processing and you can see over here right now it has plotted such a beautiful way uh, i don't need to do anything it has just plotted all those steps i'm just going to remove this step and refresh so i'll not find anything so yes it is giving me this error data check error so let me go and add those steps of invoice processing 
So now these invoice tabs uh, which are over here, it's always good habit when you are preparing your Vizier chart, you always step down your process steps and then you can rearrange them accordingly and then you can plot it into the Vizier chart. So now in this way, I have just plotted all my steps which are there when I'm processing an invoice. So we need to give the step numbers and it should be unique. So let us fill this down by fill series and this is the first step. So the first step vendor submits the invoice and what will be the next step after vendor submits the invoice. So it would be going reviewed by finance. So we are just going to press number two and what will happen if it gets reviewed by the finance where the finance will check. So it will go to number three for discrepancy. So this chart or this shape which is over here it will be a decision making so we need to change it to decision and what happens what will be the connect label so it would be yes comma no so here if the decision is yes if there is a discrepancy then return the invoice now return the invoice will go back to vendor one okay so it has to go to one and this step if it is yes then it has to go to number four so the step discrepancy return the invoice that is an action that's a process will happen and that process will then revert back to vendor submitted invoice okay so then what will happen if there is no discrepancy so you have to press five and let me refresh and show it to you how it will look perfect so you can see over here that yes it returns the invoice submitted to the vendor and a discrepancy no then process for the payment so then we have to add the step which is number five so if number five is okay what is the next step after number five is number six perfect so and the approval status is again going to have a decision so we have two decision in our processes and this will be like approve comma reject and the approval status if it is approved the payment is transferred that is number seven if it is reject then it goes to number eight so this is the process which will get stop over here no oh, no it will get stop over here when it get transferred the payment is transferred you know so that's end and that's the start one and you can just give these as process and this is again process and again need clarification is also the process. So need clarification will again go and jump back to the finance. So we need to push it to number two. And if it is transfer, finish, there is no activity. We can refresh now and let's see how our chart looks. Perfect. So this is pretty cool. And you can see it has nicely segregated that when the vendor submit the invoice so i can just make it a little bit bigger and let's see refresh it so this is working perfect so let's go and start and see that if the vendor submitted the invoice it will be reviewed by finance if any discrepancy yes it will return to invoice and vendor submits the invoice and if there is no discrepancy then it goes and process for the payment and approved or reject if it is approved payment transfer if it is reject need clarification again go and reviewed by the finance so we have done all these steps in less than five minutes and excel have just plotted that information very easily uh, with this new visual visualizer we don't have to put a lot of efforts we just need to focus on the process and the step id that's very important uh, so that it can map your stuff correctly now if you see over here you have this nice fit di to diagram if you click this one so you can zoom it zoom out and like right now you are selecting the shapes so you can just select that any shapes now if you want somebody not to select them just you can go over here and say show as saved image and that will be just saved as an image and if you uncheck this one then again someone can just select the shapes another thing interesting is that like if you need to just delete this you just simply hit delete and this chart will be deleted from here so you will just have these processes written over here so let's undo this one so we want our chart back so let's go into windows and see how our chart will look 
So right now we are using Excel for Windows and you can see how we have mapped it in the Mac version is exactly showing us in the Windows version. So there is no change in the diagram or in the drawing which we are seeing it over here. So let's go and click on edit to edit in the Visio. Make sure that you have that license of Visio to edit it and this will just create the file for you and it should be ready in any moment yes we have the file so when we click open the file so by default it will open it into the web version of the Visio so let us look that so our Visio online is open over here and now we can just go and view and edit and review and if you just need to change some kind of a design or theme color we can just uh, select a team color from here and that will get applied to entire steps and so if you wish to just edit your chart on the desktop app you can just click on desktop app so it will give you more functionality and let's say we just wanted to change the process from top to bottom then you can change even the orientation and that's it that's all you have to do and when you go back to our excel let's say dismiss and you can see that it has nicely plotted for me that orientation it has changed that orientation for me so that's how you work with data visualizer in excel for visio and i hope that my friends you have enjoyed this video so make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section what you like about this video i would like to hear from you that how this video chart add-in will be helpful for you what are your processes you're going to map it into excel and then turn it into visio i know that initial stage will be a little difficult because mapping those processes is like a crystal maze you get lost somewhere but keep refreshing it keep refreshing the data and see where are your steps going on and then you can easily work with this video charts option so signing off for today and hope to see you soon in the next video till then take care bye